So we're in Peeler for this year's uh, ski test for the Ski Club of Great Britain. It's been uh, quite a big change this year. Uh, there's been a new wave of wide, what they call wide-bodied uh, piece skis come onto the market. So similar constructions to what we've seen last year. Powerful, good performance skis, but they've just opened up the shape so that allows you to have a bit more accessibility to chopped up conditions uh, where the snow gets a bit softer. So it's been really interesting comparing this new wave of wide body piece skis to the current piece skis that are, that are out there. So this is uh, one a great example of the new wave of wide body piece skis. This is a brand new ski from Rosignol. It's called the Rosignol React. This is the R8 uh, Ti. Some interesting tech on the ski. It's got these uh, segmented sections here, uh, which allow for really progressive pressure control through the tip of the ski. Um, and this filters through to what they call the line center technology, um, which gives the ski a bit more beef through the center. Uh, and this gives the ski lots of grip and, and really good stability. Uh, really interesting ski to, to use because it has very strong piece performance, grippy, fast, stable, lovely in long turns, pretty quick edge to edge in short turns, but because it's got that wider shape to it, it gives the skier a bit more accessibility and forgiveness when you're in softer, slightly chopped up conditions on the piece. So this is the uh, Nordica Doberman Spitfire Ti. Uh, it won the category last year in piece performance. It's a ski where the construction hasn't really changed that much over the last few years, um, but it's still an absolutely awesome ski. We, we love it. Um, very, very strong performance, super grippy in longs, powerful in shorts, quick edge to edge. For a skier that loves just ripping hard on a well-groomed piece, it's, it's a brilliant choice. Um, in terms of the technology on the ski, the design of it is quite interesting. It's a slalom uh, uh, shape through the shovel, which leads into a more of a giant slalom, a GS construction. It's got a 75% full sidewall construction and it uses a beach wood popular core with a, with a layer of tetanol to give it a bit of extra strength. In terms of construction and design, it's, it's not part of this new wave of wide-bodied, bigger skis, but the performance is still amazing and it's still a real firm favourite with our test team. Heaps of grip, uh, really lively, quick from edge to edge. It just gives you confidence to crank it as hard as you want. The uh, K2 Speed Charger has come out really, really strong. Um, quite an interesting construction on the ski. It's, it's unchanged from last year, but it has uh, two layer, two metal laminate layers in there, and it's got this new carbon grid, which gives the ski more of a progressive flex. Um, the, the great thing about this ski is just in long turns, the shape of the shovel really draws you into the turn. So it just gives a really lovely, predictable, smooth arc. It's also an amazing smooth ride, just incredible for cutting out any vibration. So you have this silky smooth ride, awesome in long arcs, really high levels of grip. And then when you get into short turns, it feels quick from edge to edge and, and lively, just a brilliant, on-piece performing ski.